So I guess we're going to make a Star Wars fan film. Hey everybody, my name is Brian and in this video we're going to kick off a new project that will likely spend several videos and will document my learning process. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, then make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on one of the videos. So in trying to learn more about how to write short stories that I can film, I've come across many, many articles and videos talking about Dan Harmon and the story circle. He explains this so well and he implements this on so many projects. I won't try to explain all of that here, but I will link to some resources in the description so that you can learn more about this in case this is new to you. So this story circle idea seemed like it made perfect sense to me and I started trying to apply that pattern to lots of TV shows, movies, and short films that I liked. Once I saw how this could be applied to many different ideas, I really thought that this would be a great thing to use to kickstart my next project. So recently I've made quite a few little uh, 30 second to a minute long videos and now I'm ready to try something a little bit longer. So I'm thinking like the four to five minute range is probably just about right. Can probably be done with this in about two to three weeks. Um, so now I just need to write the story. So in thinking about things that we might film for this story, um, I came across the obvious thing. My family really loves Star Wars. Um, there's a new movie coming out. And we're going to the Star Wars land and going to buy some, some props. So I thought this would be an easy thing to get the family into. The props are readily available. They look really good already on camera. Uh, we have several things, and uh, we, I'm sure that we'll buy more because the kids love that type of thing. So I guess we're going to make a Star Wars fan film. I need this story, and I know that we're going to have the Jedi lightsaber, and we're going to have a Sith holocron. I ordered um, cheap Jedi costume and, like, a wizard robe on Amazon, uh, and I thought, you know, we can probably put a story together around these items. So sometimes keeping the simple boundaries on a project can really prevent it from dragging out. You know, simple ideas really equal finished projects for me. So to uh, complete the story circle, uh, the character has to have a need, and upon fulfilling that need, they experience some change before they go back to the status quo. So, I mean, this, of course, is an oversimplification of this process, but this works for my needs, and it keeps it very simple for me. So to get started, we're going to draw the circle and the main division lines for the story. So there's some terms that uh, will help you uh, to stay on track in the circle and will help you see what needs to happen at a certain point. So in our story, uh, it will open with the Jedi as the main character. It is a Star Wars story, after all. So here at the top of the circle, we're going to start with the Jedi. He's in training. He's learning the ways of the Force. He's just settling into uh, this way of life. So he has a want. He wants to know more about the Force, and he wants to learn how to harness this power. Uh, he's getting the warnings about the dark side, but he's not really quite there yet. He's just wanting to learn more about it. He is assigned a mission. He's going to go and try to find uh, this missing ancient Sith holocron. So then he begins his search, and so he spends some time searching for this holocron, going to planet to planet, looking for it. Uh, he eventually finds it, uh, and he finds that it's being guarded by some Sith that he needs to overcome. So here, uh, for the take, he has to find a way to get the holocron, but it turns out he's going to have to kill the Sith uh, in order to do this. And this obviously causes a small dilemma with him. So, and then the return. The Jedi begins his return journey back to the temple with his holocron. So for the change of the story, the Jedi is very curious about this Sith holocron, and he wants to try to learn more about it on the way back. He's very tempted, even though he's been warned not to play with this. So this circle gives us the main outline that we need to fill in the rest of the story and to begin to storyboard this and to get a shot list together of what we need to film to be able to tell the story. And with this simple story plot, I really hope to keep it around that four to five minutes of runtime and to keep all these camera shots kind of medium to close range, we don't really have a big set uh, or anything. We just have a, you know, a simple green screen and some small areas that we can keep dark and that I think we can get a pretty good effect with, uh, with some controlled lighting. So keeping it very simple like this, very simple story, uh, it helps keep my family engaged and helps uh, keep the kids uh, where they're not so distracted by their phones and, and not overworked with uh, filming the sequences. You know, you really got to keep it fun and simple if you want people to stay involved in your project. So uh, I'll be making several more videos about this process of creating this short fan film so you can learn uh, with me all along the way, all of my mistakes and the things that I get, happen to get right. Uh, we'll be making a few props uh, along the way too. I'll show that and be adding some basic special effects with the green screen. I'll show that as well. Uh, should be a pretty interesting and a great learning experience for anybody who's interested in that. So the next video in this process will be the storyboarding and getting a shot list together and probably doing some test shots maybe even some proof of concept special effects just to make sure that we can do what we want to do. 
So if you liked this video and you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel uh, if you want to follow my experience in learning how to make these better videos. Thanks for watching.